Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Bytes. I'm your host with another update about AI and gaming. Let's dive right in. When talking about AI, it's hard to leave out the mastermind behind ChatGPT, OpenAI. Back in August, they made their first ever public acquisition of a small digital company called Global Illumination. What's their main product? An open source MMORPG game called Biomes, which looks a lot like Minecraft. Still, the reason behind OpenAI's pursuit of this venture isn't crystal clear. We all know OpenAI is working hand in hand with Microsoft, who happens to be owners of Minecraft. So it might seem a bit weird that they'd be interested in an alternate version of the world famous 3D sandbox game. But let's dig a bit deeper. OpenAI might be thinking about training AI models like GPT-4 to cruise through 3D game worlds, just like other AI researchers have been doing with Minecraft recently. Or maybe OpenAI has plans to launch its own video game that uses AI in some way. Whatever the deal is, one thing's for sure, OpenAI now has a team of skilled visionaries who can elevate their products. One of Global Illumination's founder, Thomas Dimson, is actually the author of Instagram's content algorithm. Regardless of whether they fully dive into the gaming realm or not, OpenAI's future is only getting better and better. In fact, the idea of OpenAI stepping into AI-powered gaming isn't just a wild guess. The potential of generative AI to elevate open world and social games is already evident. Well, an AI-powered Animal Crossing might be closer than you think. Let's take a look at the captivating experiment by Stanford and Google researchers. They crafted 25 digital personas using ChatGPT, each with its own pixel art appearance and distinctive personality. These unique characters were then released into a Sim-style virtual town. It sounds like one of our childhood video games played on the Game Boy, right? Within this virtual realm, the AI characters basically came to life, from the mundane tasks of preparing breakfast to the routine of attending work. The characters even engaged in meaningful conversations. Remember, these actions flowed naturally without the need for manual coding. They even autonomously organized a Valentine's Day party, sending out invites and arranging dates. Speaking of NPCs, do you recall the demo of NVIDIA Avatar Cloud Engine from our previous video? In fact, the impressive showcase we witnessed was made possible by an NVIDIA Inception startup, Convi. Hey, are you a human or a bot? I am an AI-powered character, but I strive to be as good as humans in virtual worlds. It also enables me to perceive the environment and carry out actions. Really? Can you bring me that rifle from the table? Sure. Here you go. What's fascinating about Convi system is that it lets you tweak even the tiniest details of a character. Game developers can provide these characters with backstories and knowledge banks. So when they chat with players, they can come up with a dynamic response that aligns tightly with their background. And guess what? You can even adjust how they literally say things, like their accents or how they pronounce certain words. 11 Chemistry at Valleymore High School. I help take care of our patients following surgery. These characters they craft can then easily be integrated into various game engines like Unity and Unreal, and even platforms like Roblox and Discord. And here's another example. Convi has demos of AI NPCs acting as virtual tour guides in various scenarios. The NPC provides accurate information and proper responses to user queries. Just imagine having a lifelike virtual companion in your RPG game instead of a soulless and repetitive NPC. That would add an exciting new dimension for gaming. Let's move beyond Convi to see what else is happening with AI and PCs. Replica Studios is another company that had caught our attention. They've developed AI tools to replicate human voice and create natural voiceovers for games and film. A lunar eclipse is about to happen. We're in for a celestial spectacle like no other. Want to see the work in action? There are videos on YouTube where players chat with AI characters in the Matrix Awakens game. The players try to convince the AI that it's all virtual and they're stuck in the matrix. Do you have any desire to exist beyond this digital form? Sometimes I dream of being a real boy like Pinocchio. Busy and busy and don't have I time also for dream small of talk. being a unicorn. If you're just lines of code, why don't you transform into those things? Oh, sure. A new just because I'm a program city. means I can magically transform into anything I want. It's not I'm how it works. I'm sorry for being so short. Well, how does it work? I don't know. Man, I'm just a program running on someone else's computer. Right there. It's all very technical and confusing. And you're okay with being at their liberty? I don't really have a choice in the matter, do I? It's strangely intriguing, right? So what do you think? Even though the NPC's response were generated by a language model behind, 
Its emotional tone and body language are so on point that it makes the conversation way more believable than ever before. Well, after all the exciting innovation we've covered, let's talk about the dark side of gaming. Even with the amazing tech out there, running into negativity and toxic behaviors in multiplayer games is pretty common. Gaming is supposed to be fun, but the competitive urge can sometimes lead to negative experiences. Let's check out the stats for League of Legends, one of the biggest 5v5 multiplayer games online. It's wild that a massive 98% of players have encountered toxic behaviors like insults, threats, and spams during matches, and 79% have even faced offensive harassments after games end. While interacting with other players is one of the best parts of multiplayer games, getting blamed makes the experience stressful and isn't what gaming should be about. This shows that some kind of moderation is needed to keep the gaming environment safe and fair for everyone. But what's the most effective and meaningful way to moderate massive games? Traditionally, the go-to solution was hiring human moderators. But with how massive modern games have become, that really doesn't work anymore. In reality, only 0.1% of user reports get an official response. That's absurdly low, right? Clearly, depending solely on human mods isn't practical on a global scale like League of Legends or Apex Legends. AI needs to step in and lend a hand. Therefore, big players in gaming like Riot and Ubisoft have been experimenting with AI, utilizing their training data from different games. Actually, one study has been working on training AI to moderate online communities from identifying anonymous users' intentions to encouraging positive behaviors. The early results indicate that well-trained models can already outperform existing solutions. Picture an AI moderator working 24-7, able to handle massive amounts of content with consistent standards and low cost. It could auto-flag controversial stuff for human review when needed. By joining forces, human mods and AI can work towards a shared goal, cultivating a safe, welcoming gaming community where every player feels included. And that's a wrap for today. The future of AI gaming is still unfolding with new updates dropping daily. Whether you're a gamer or not, what's coming next in gaming has to be very exciting. If you haven't watched our previous Tech Bytes explaining how ChatGPT is transforming the gaming industry, be sure to check it out after this video. GG well played, and I'll see you in the next episode.